On Android, you can triple tap on the screen to use magnification and use two fingers to move around. You can pinch out to make it bigger and pinch in if you wanna make it smaller. But there's actually more that you can do with Android magnification. Let's go over all of it in this video. Hi everyone, welcome to Carry On Accessibility. I'm Carrie and I talk about accessibility and technology. So if that sounds interesting for you, hit that subscribe button and the bell. So let's get right back in to magnification on Android. Another thing you can do is actually triple tap and hold, then drag your finger around the screen and move that way. This is especially helpful when you're reading an email or a web page or something where you have to do a lot of back and forth. It's so much easier to just drag your finger around the screen than it is to use two fingers to move around the screen. It also works when you're magnified. So if I triple tap on the screen, so now it's zoomed in. Now if I triple tap and hold, I can do the same thing. And now when I let go, it'll still stay magnified. What I've explained so far is how to use the triple tap accessibility gesture for magnification on Android, but there are actually other accessibility shortcuts that you can use with magnification. And there's also a new magnification lens. So let's go over how to even turn on triple tap because recently Android's been trying to hide it and I'll explain why. First, you wanna go down to settings and you want to go to accessibility. And then from there, go to magnification. If you're using Samsung, it may be under visibility enhancements. Now from here, you want to make sure that the shortcut is on, it's a toggle, and right next to it, it says magnification shortcut. If you tap on that, there are a few different shortcuts that you can use with magnification. You can use the accessibility gesture or the accessibility button, or you can hold the volume keys. And I explained all this in another video where I go over all the Android accessibility shortcuts, which I will link in the cards and in the description. Below that, there is advanced. So if you tap on that advanced button, this is where you will find triple tap the screen. And this is honestly my favorite way of using magnification, though there are some problems to it. When you have triple tap enabled, things are a lot slower. The keyboard's slower where you input like numbers, especially on your lock screen when you press those numbers, those will have a delay. When you are playing a game that requires you to like press buttons very quickly, you will not be able to play if the triple tap is enabled because again of that latency. I'm not really sure what the solution here would be. Uh, maybe, I don't know, a two finger triple tap or some kind of other gesture, but I think there still needs to be a gesture that automatically turns on magnification. And by the way, it will give you a warning. If you turn on the triple tap activation for magnification, it will warn you that it will slow down your phone, which it does. But for me, as somebody who uses magnification all the time, it is so worth it. And if I really need to play a game or do something that requires me to have that speed and not have that latency, I will go into the settings and turn it off. It would be really nice if there were like accessibility profiles, Google, that would be really great, thank you. So Google's attempted solution is the accessibility gesture and the accessibility button, which I'll quickly show here. But if you want a more in-depth um, video about accessibility shortcuts and how these features work, definitely check out that video. And if I go back to the accessibility shortcuts and I, um, select use accessibility gesture. I can use two fingers, swipe up from the bottom as three fingers if you're using talkback and now I can tap on the screen and it will zoom in. You can still pinch in and out to decrease or increase magnification and now you would have to use the gesture again to be able to zoom out. And this is a halfway good solution. The problem is that the accessibility gesture has its own problems. It's rather finicky and doesn't always work all the time, which is a disappointment. 
The other solution that Google tried is the floating button. And this has like this little pink bubble that you can put um, on the edges of the screen. If you tap this button, it will put an orange border on the screen and now you can tap anywhere and it will zoom in. You can still pinch in and out and move around with two fingers. And if you tap that button again, it will zoom out. If you tap that button and just tap and hold on the screen, you can still drag your finger on the screen and you can use magnification this way. My problem with the button is that it's this big, huge bubble floating around on the screen. It's already hard enough for me to see the screen with magnification. With this button, it's like it's blocking my view. There's an option to make the button smaller, but now it's just harder for me to tap it, to find it and to tap it. If I find that it's in the way, I can make it fade, but then I'm not able to find the button at all. Like to make it fade enough that I can still see the screen behind the button will make it impossible for me to find. Then you start moving that button all over the place because it's blocking certain parts of the screen or different apps and you have to move it out of the way to press a certain button or to read something. Then you also forget where you left it. <laughs> and then I have to go find it. Where, where's the button? Where did I put it? So that is why I still prefer the triple tap, even though it slows down the phone. I'm hoping some kind of designer or developer will figure out a way that it will decrease and stop this latency while also making it efficient and easy to use. Because I do understand that the triple tap has this problem and I know they're trying to fix it, but I just feel like they either need to really improve their solutions or come up with another solution that would fix this issue. Now let's talk about the magnification lens and how to use it and maybe when to use it. I'm gonna talk about Pixel and stock Android and I talked about the magnification lens on Samsung devices in another video, my Samsung One UI 5.0 update video and I will link that in the YouTube cards and in the description if you want to learn about how it's like on the Samsung, which is kind of better in some ways, unless you use TalkBack, which it still is crashing. If you activate magnification, whether it's through the triple tap, the gesture, the button, if you have it activated, there is now a button at the bottom right of the screen, which sometimes fades out after a couple of seconds. If it does fade out, all you have to do is just move with two fingers or move around a little bit and it will reappear. Now, if you tap on that icon, now you have the magnification lens and you can still use two fingers to move around the screen. It's actually kind of easier to use two fingers this way. You can still pinch in and pinch out within that lens. You can also touch and hold at the bottom of the lens, which is kind of hard for me to do with one finger and you can move around that way. If you wanna go back to full screen, all you have to do is tap on the bottom right corner where there's that button that keeps disappearing after a few seconds. And so you just have to move around a little bit again and tap it and you're back to full screen. Now I am in Google Keep and I have a note open and I wanna show you where I use magnification lens. So I'm gonna triple tap on the screen and now it only shows the top part and doesn't show the keyboard. I have the emojis panel open on the keyboard. And before, the way that I used to do emojis is just hitting a random emoji, looking at it at the top after I've typed it, and then um, clicking backspace so that I can get rid of it. Now what you can do is press that little button, which you can also move by the way, um, and now you have the lens magnification or window magnification. And now you can move that over. And now you can look at the different emojis. There we go. And then you can select them and then you can go back up here and look at them at the top if you wanted to. There we go. And see which ones you selected. Carrie from the future here. I almost forgot to mention if you don't have this floating button, you can go to your magnification settings. The second item down says magnification type and you can tap on there. You can select 
whether you want it to always be full screen or always the lens partial magnification or the third one which is being able to switch between the two. I know some people maybe they don't necessarily need a lot of magnification or they maybe want more context of what else is on the screen so they want to use just the lens. Unfortunately on Pixel there is no way to select how big you want the window or you can't customize how large it is and there just is not a lot of options. It's either full screen or this specific size window that they chose for you, which definitely needs some improvement. And it would also really be nice to have an option where if the keyboard's open, that it automatically switches to window zoom. That would be really helpful, I think, especially for me. And I know a lot of people out there also can't see emojis. Sometimes, even when I do like zoom in a lot, I'm like, what in the world is that thing? It's just hard for me to visually interpret. But anyway, that's everything that you need to know about magnification on Android. Hopefully that will help you out. Let me know if you use magnification, how you use it, what shortcut you use. I'd love to hear all about it in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.